What's up guys? In this video the off-road go-kart gets a new Predator 212 engine with Go Power Sports mods, some V-tread tires, and some mud terrain tires for the back, and then we drive it a little bit and blow up a torque converter. Alright guys, we just brought a Predator. Hey! I don't, I don't know why they're all different, but... That's pretty good. New Predator. Brand new. Proteus. Right, guys, we're just working on getting these bolts out on our engine table here. <laughs> but we'll just slide these off and get the cover off. Nice new Predator. And guys, like taking the governor out, it'll just bring it to... It'll let it get to a way higher RPM. You can blow up your engine though, however, we have not had any issues with blowing it up yet, so. Yep. Yeah. I mean, and it's like. These things are so cheap, it's just like. It's like, right. yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna take the QA out. Yeah, also like. There we go. Not that hard. Yep. Except this part's gonna suck. Yeah, so this little gear in here is the governor. And you just gotta take it out. Um, it really sucks. Um, normally we just end up destroying it, but sometimes they come out all right. So we'll get some light in here and we'll take it out. Uh, this is advanced predatorium because it's got this thing and I think it's variable timing. VTEC. VTEC. Yeah, it's got VTEC. Mm -hmm. And that means it goes faster. So I don't know why I took this out, but I did. So. Yeah, we're all over the place today. All right, so what I did was I just disconnected this throttle linkage. That way I can pull this governor arm out. And that way, if you look over here, you can see now we can move that governor arm so we can get to the... You can't see it. It's okay, though. Get to the governor. All right. Cool. So let's get let's work on getting the governor out. Best governor strategy is just kind of... Destroy it, yep. basically. I don't know if you can... Control, alt, destroy. I don't know if you can see it down there, but... There she is. Getting anywhere? Oh. I can't wait till the pin flies out and hits the one. More pry. Alright, so we just pulled this cover off. Um, this torque converter looks kind of small. Um, eh, I guess not that bad. Um, I don't, we don't know if it's like worn out or anything. It might be why it's bogging so much, but. I guess we'll take a look at it and see if there's anything wrong. So, um, we got the governor completely destroyed. There's some of the pieces of it. But now we're just shooting it out with some brake clean just to make sure that any little plastic shavings will get out of it. It's all cleaned up, so all she needs now is the engine cover. All that needs to be done now is all the bolts are out on the engine, so the chain just has to be disconnected. This is like new oil or old oil? Pour it again? I actually can't tell. Pour it again. It looks pretty new. Yeah, Alright, so we have O'Reilly's Finest for the Predator. Not that bad. Yeah, so... Fill her up. Would recommend. And then we'll start, and then we'll do the little break-in process. Typically it'd be smart to um, run the engine like before you take the governor out just to make sure it's okay, but... Nope. We've had pretty good luck with these, so... So we're taking off the master link. Yeah, the engine's completely unbolted. Now we As you can see. And then... Chain. I got it. We just got the master link off. So now this engine should come out. In theory. Wait, how does it come out? Uh, I think you fly out this way. Okay. Yay. Uh, chain. Okay, that'll work. There hey. we go. Pretty good. All right, so. Blow uh, up with some race fuel. Yeah. Just kidding, it's 87. How many cranks would it take? Now is the throttle hooked up? No! Yeah. One. Two. Throttle! Get some gas. He's gonna need some. Come on. Hey! Okay, so right now we're just putting this 30 series torque converter on our brand new 212 that will soon go on Internet Explorer. Yeah, and this is gonna give us a lot more torque because. The other, um, the other torque converter is kind of more of a, um, a torque converter and a clutch, like the worst elements of both mixed together. So, 
This will make it go away better. Okay, so we got our 212 with the torque converter on it. And when we mock it up on the stock engine plate, it's really, really close. And it seems like this sprocket's probably going to hit stuff in the torque converter. So we have this brand new engine plate straight from Go Power Sports. And we'll just cut off these little studs up here and then cut some holes out in the bottom for the bolts to go through. And then we'll just lay this brand new engine plate on top of the old one, which should make it really easy to mount and adjust our 212. We lined up this plate and leveled it out. So now I made this little <clears throat> plate that notches around the axle right here so we can just weld it up flush with the plate and then down back here. And that should be, and then we're gonna have another piece right up here and that should hopefully be enough just to stabilize the engine. Okay, so we got the engine mocked up and just need to cut one link off this chain and then put the master link in and we'll be set. Okay guys, so I just wired up the kill switch. So it took me a while to figure this out. It wasn't too hard though. Um, so the kill switch on the engine is grounded and when you unground it, it doesn't work at all. So for us, we just have, or I made it so you keep it in the off position and then you have the uh, this switch right here on the ground. So you just connect the ground when you press the switch and then that just shuts off the engine since it's in the off position. Yeah, we also got some sick new tires from Go Power Sports. These are really sweet. I'm, I'm excited to put these on their uh, V-tread, like Swamper style tires. Um, all these tires are super dry rotted and we like filled that one with about like two cans of Fix-A Flat and it still didn't work, so. This is pretty clutch, let's get them on. Old tire, new tire. She's a beauty. She's beaded. That only took 45 minutes. And like eight screwdrivers. All right, so this one's almost, yep. Now we just gotta pull this set through and it'll be good to go. Stand back, boys. Yo! Hey! Alright, let's fill it up. That's how you mount a tire. Alright guys, um, now that this tire is mounted, now we just gotta bolt them up. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We're professionals here. Also from Go Power Sports is this header, muffler, and um, cold air intake kit. So we'll just get to installing that right now. It's really easy. All you have to do is just take the jet out and it's all good to go. So this will add a lot of power to this thing and really get it to push this big cart around really easily. Okay, so now we have our new carb jet in. So now that we're getting more fuel, we gotta make sure we're getting more air. So now like an air filter for that. And this just screws right on. It looks so cool now with the header and the air filter. And it's on fire. Yeah, so now we're just cleaning up the wiring and stuff and we're welding a little panel for a switch. So it'll be all good to go and our lights will be a lot less ghetto. <laughs> Okay, so now we got our new tires on from Go Power Sports. These things are really nice. Let's bolt them up. Sweet. Three wheel action there. We gotta be careful with that. Oh. Right, I wanna ride this thing. There's 
there's no lack of power at all. I'm going to tunnel. Okay. Okay, well, unfortunately this would be the part where we'd insert a lot more driving footage and stuff. But our torque converter on whatever the driven part is, like the clutch part, it like completely exploded a couple of days ago. I think what happened was is the little spring mechanism inside of the thing broke and then it jammed and then the whole thing unthreaded. And I mean, I'm just kind of sick of messing with these eBay torque converters. Yeah, they're a pretty good deal, but eventually or we're definitely gonna replace this with a go power force piece now i mean honestly we should have just gotten one to begin with and not mess around with cheap parts because i mean it's definitely worth the extra 100 bucks because we've definitely put more than 100 bucks into this but aside from that this thing's actually really good and it it does very well these tires unfortunately we haven't been able to test them in the mud yet but they definitely look really sick along with the v treads so at this point we're kind of just ending this video here. Thank you, Go Power Sports, for all the parts on this thing. This thing actually goes really well now with the new engine and all this power plant stuff, but it's definitely not perfect. So in a future video, we're going to be definitely hooning this thing a little bit and trying to break it because I'd rather break it before it's finalized and painted. So yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This was really fun. I mean, it's really easy to just throw Predators in the stuff and this is a fun little project and this cart goes really well now. But we're nowhere near done with this. We have to fix that torque converter and do a little bit more driving into this thing and really put it through its paces. So stay tuned for that and be sure to subscribe.